Hi everyone and welcome back to TS Talks. Hope you're all doing good, keeping safe. Um, you know, hope you all had a a good bank holiday weekend. Um, you know, for me it's a bit of an odd one, you know, bank holiday weekend, especially the August bank holiday weekend is, you know, usually mainly highlighted by one thing, which is, you know, the Notting Hill Carnival, which obviously didn't take place this year due to everything that's um gone on in terms of the whole pandemic and stuff. And you know what, for me it was a bit weird, like, you know, on both days, actually, like, I just happened to be in the area, more or less, where Carnival was, and it was just weird, like, it was just like, oh, it's just a casual day, like, I can see they weren't taking chances, like, I see police, and I see, I want to say stewards, but their, their jacket team kind of said community engagement, it was kind of like to ensure that no one was trying to set up any sort of, you know, mini carnival themselves which you know at the end of the day i i understand they, they're going to be you know um cautious and stuff because obviously it is i believe is it the biggest street um festival in europe um but yeah it's for me it's you know um it's a tough one because you're thinking like nah man carnival like surely surely that like, carnival will happen as much as say the i know the original host and that said yeah it's cancelled this year you're thinking Nah, man, carnival will happen some form, some way. You know, I see a video of one guy doing a carnival on his own, and, you know, um, credit to him for doing so. But my whole thing on it is, in talking in this one, is, like, um, is carnival ever actually going to return? Like, you know, you see, like, these festivals where they're talking about, you know, socially distanced festivals where, like, you sit down, um you know, when you're in the crowd and stuff, and you're just like, and I'm there thinking about it, it's like, will Carnival actually return? Obviously, for me, I hope it does. You know, it's something I've been going to from when I was young. I even recall uh, my mum telling me one time how she nearly lost me at Carnival. I must have been like, I think it was like six or something. And, you know, it's things like that. She's like, oh, yeah, you nearly lost me at Carnival and, and all these things. And I remember that scenario alone when she mentioned that to me and I was like proper young, like maybe eight or nine that scenario alone made me want to know like okay if I ever get lost anywhere this is how I get home and you know ever since then I've been good with knowing you know how to travel from A to B or where I am how I can get home from there etc so you know um, I'm just wondering about the whole carnival thing because you know it's not and then people say oh yeah you know it's it's a you know it's a black person thing or it's a Caribbean thing it's yeah it's predominantly that but you know it's a thing where people of all different backgrounds come to celebrate at the end of the day, you know, yeah. Yes, there's some trouble there, but, you know, when you do the, the maths, you do the numbers, um, the amount of incidents, what, probably the percentage rates, maybe maybe between somewhere between 5 and 10% of the people that attend, there's trouble cause, which, you know, um, you can't justify that. I'm not saying that's good, but... You know, if it was 90% trouble and 10% good, then you could say, okay, well, the metrics say this isn't good. So, yeah, I'm just wondering, like, you know, is it ever going to return in its full capacity? Like, I want to hear what people's thoughts on it are. Obviously, for me, I hope that it does. And, you know, I hope that even, like, um, festivals and all this other stuff um, can somewhat resume to some form of normality um, from next year. You know, we've had this year many people packing out beaches and stuff, so... You know, I, I'm I'm sure that hopefully um, that this can be done. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, I just want to hear everyone's thoughts on it because I know for years they've been trying to um, obviously lock off Carnival and talks of trying to put it in Hyde Park and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, for some people, though, or the people that's wanted Carnival gone for years, they'll use it as an, as an excuse to say, like, well, you know, um, they didn't have it this year, so, you know, there's no real need for it next year. Or if it is on next year, they might try to say, oh, or, like, the numbers have got to be limited and all that sort of stuff, which, to me, I'm not trying to hear that at all. So, yeah, just want to get your thoughts on it. Um, so I'd be grateful if you leave a, a comment in the comment section below. Obviously, make sure you share this um, video with, you know, your friends and family also. I want to get thoughts from everyone regarding this. And um, last one, just before I go, um, if you just go check out um, 
you know, my family, Mark Scorn, he's dropped like an EP. Um, so go check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description below also. You know, um, I'm just trying to support everyone, man. If there's anything that anyone out there is doing you want me to have a look at, just hit me up and, you know, I'll try to put it out there in my videos also. So, yeah, that's going to be... You'll see that on the screen anyways, but the link for that's in the description below. Go check it out. Even on that video, you know, comment, give your thoughts on it, etc. And, yeah, man, we move. Hope you all have a blessed week. Take care. Peace.